Parker Brothers and its history published over 1,800 games, and we've narrowed that list down to our top 15. We're going to show you what those are here today on Legendary Tactics. All right, so this is a, a, a top 15 list. We chose five each, the games that we thought were Parker Brothers' best. Okay? Uh, just so you know how this came about, originally our resident documentarian here is, is actually creating the history of Parker Brothers, and we realized that a lot of these games were sitting on our shelves, and we started plucking them off, and what you're going to see today are, are the results of those efforts. Yes. Um, and I have to say, Cax's picks today, <laughs> uh, we couldn't get some of them into the studio because they're too large. Yeah, so, it's questionable at best. Questionable at best. Yeah. So, All right, so I'm going to start with you, Flash. Okay, sounds great. Uh, <laughs> This is one that probably a lot of people have seen. Super Mastermind. Or just uh, Mastermind just is mastermind. The, the general one. I don't know what makes this one super exactly, but I guess it's bigger. Bigger oh, box. Yes. Bigger, bigger <laughs> okay. And you can tell that most of my Parker Brothers games have a lot of scotch tape on them because they've yeah. had lots of playtime. Yeah. No exception with this one. You put a code in, the person's trying to crack the code. It's really yeah. simple. Um, lots of fun. Yes, that's a great one. Okay. Mr. Cax. So I wanted to go something a little tactile to kick things off, and I decided on, I had of two options. The first option was Bop It. Oh, no. <laughs> Classic game, lots uh -huh. of fun, entertainment. Not exactly a board game. Yeah, no, not a board game. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Now, <laughs> This is en little, français, the en français, Canadian version. Because it's the Great White North, and why not? <laughs> but I decided to go a little, a little, a little bigger, a little broader, and we went with some not table tennis. Yes. Ping, ping pong. Ping pong. Ping pong. Okay, why not table tennis? So, so, they, yeah, so ping pong was the original. <laughs> <laughs> ping pong was the original game that was uh, purchased by uh, or developed by uh, Parker Brothers. Table tennis was the generic competitor that the other uh, companies tried to introduce to kind of steal their corner of the market. And I always grew up with ping pong, so that's perfect. So perfect. ping pong, you got to have it on the list, right? Yes. It, it was Parker <laughs> Brothers quality there. So right. ping there pong it is. it is. Okay, so my number five is a bit of a surprise probably. Um, it is actually The Apprentice. Yes. <laughs> the game, the board game. It's, it's uh, I guess there's not much of a board, but it is, it is uh, essentially... Um, close enough and it is an electronic game you're you're given tasks and you have to uh, <laughs> you have to you have to work hard to um, you know choose your teams and put them in the right tasks to to win the game make the most money usually um, and it, everything is run on this little credit card swiping machine which uh, Flash we have, is going to demonstrate. We have to show them this. We, yes. We, yeah. So this game was made long before Donald Trump was president. Congratulations. You should be very proud of yourselves. You've just been chosen to play The Apprentice. This is <laughs> yeah. hands down the best game ever made. Hands Red King, scan each of your competitor cards. Get to it. Okay. We're going to scan we're, the, we're we're gonna gonna scan scan the Donald. Donald. <laughs> That's me, Donald Trump. Good choice. Actually, I'd even say great choice. Great choice. That's who I would have picked. <laughs> this is hands down the best competitor overall in these categories. It's pretty awesome. But I have not been chosen to play The Apprentice. Nuts. So Can't use it. Grab your competitors and swipe their cards. Get to it. So uh, some of his traits, sales and marketing, 10. Creativity, 10. Education, 10. You guessed it. Street smart, 10. Charisma, 10. Yeah. But so, age is question mark. That's the best. <laughs> yeah, age, is age is unknown. <laughs> that is age unknown. Awesome. So, so they, lots of great memories with this game. And fun. in full disclosure, we all wanted to put this list on our game. Uh, this because list on our game. This game, this on, our game on our list. <laughs> but because NATO is sitting in the middle chair, he got to. Yes. Uh, he got, he got it. Right. So. Next up is... Flash. Yeah, this one's nice and easy. Probably most people out there have played Sequence. And if yes. you've been to Costco lately, you can get Giant Sequence, which is equally fun. Yes. Uh, this is one for the whole family. It's essentially tic-tac-toe with cards. We probably don't need to yes. show you. You've, you've probably seen all this. Yes. Um, you're just, you're getting your cards, you're placing. You have to get two lines of five in a row, I believe. Yep. So, yep. a lot of fun. Yep. Um, great game to have yes. around. Great family game Any, uh, for any age. Great. Yep. Okay. So uh, Parker Brothers is known for its word games, and I couldn't, I, I, my list wouldn't be complete without the game of Boggle. Uh, another classic to go along with ping pong. Oh. <laughs> Did anyone uh, curate? Uh, <laughs> so Who let him pick so you games? you basically shake the dice, right? Nine are going to pop up, or, or is it twelve? Nine or twelve? 
Uh, I think it's I four remember. by four. I think it's, it's 12. 16. 16, yeah. yeah. Four by four. And you just start making words like a banshee. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a lot of fun. Okay. And uh, longest word obviously gets more points. It's great. And uh, you guys being wordsmiths, I'm sure you guys love it too. I hate I love that it. game. <laughs> Come on. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. You're the English man. Which is ridiculous. I yeah. suck at that game. Yeah, I know. Brutal. Never been able brutal. To just that brutal, brutal. I get cat. I get. <laughs> yeah. Dog, maybe if I'm lucky, and that's that's about it. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun game. Yeah. All right, my number four pick is a game called Masterpiece. I don't, I don't have a, I actually have a copy, or at least my parents do. I don't have it with me today. Um, Masterpiece is a game where you are uh, moving around a board. It's a circular board, and you have the opportunity to buy works of art. And hmm. it's uh, basically the pr the real value of the work of art is is secretly. Uh, kept behind uh, behind behind the painting, so you don't oh. you kn you know what the painting is worth, but your opponents don't. So you're trying to swap out, and there are a few forgeries in there. You're trying to swap those out and end up with the most uh, value of the of paintings at the end of the that game. It's, fun. it's a fun, easy game. I played it as a kid. It was great. That's awesome. You're up next. Yeah, very good. Okay, this one was a surprise. I found this at a secondhand store. And we didn't clue. have a copy Harry of Potter. Yeah, it's the, and so it's not just regular Clue, and the game is actually quite different. So I will crack the box on this one uh, because you can see there's these wheels. Um, thematically, I think this game really works, and I actually like this better than original Clue mm -hmm. um, because I mean, when you're in Hogwarts, you're you're trapped within. I mean, the somebody's been murdered, of course. Yeah. You have to figure out which of the baddies did it, and you're se searching around the rooms. But there's in this one passages that are opening and closing, so doors open and oh, shut. Okay. And so it adds uh, a little bit of a more narrative to it that I, mm -hmm. as you know, I really enjoy that. Yeah. And it just feels like a really fun game, um, yeah. especially if you're into the the world of Harry Potter. But yes. um, I, I love this game. My family loves this game. And uh, I will shamelessly say this is in my top five. All right. Excellent. Okay. So uh, moving along, we're going to go into <laughs> some more wordsmithing. Okay. But this time with categories. <laughs> Another another family favorite over <laughs> yes, here. Yes, okay. Uh, yeah. and one thing I do have to give with categories is it has a most <laughs> impressive dice. Uh, yes, that is cool. The die in this game is something to behold. If you can <laughs> find it, yeah. dig it out if here. If it's lost, your game oh, no. is, is shot. You, you know what's actually kind of funny is at our home, we've lost the entire game except for the die. <laughs> <laughs> I keep finding the die and I refuse to throw it out. Did it you is, steal my die? Uh, it may it's be gone. gone. It's, it's, it's gone. Maybe maybe that's the die. Is this the die here? Like it's uh, an electronic no, die. No, it's not a die. <laughs> No, that's the well, timer. timer. It's just a boring time. Yeah. So anyway, I guess we you'd have to use like an alphabetical <laughs> randomizer. I don't know. Yeah, I have no but idea. anyway, uh, to like randomize the random letter that you need for your category game. So anyway, it's a great puzzly kind of wordy game too, yeah. and uh, it uh, it it pairs beautifully with Boggle. <laughs> that's awesome. Absolutely. All that's right. Awesome. So my number three uh, again. Don't have that game physically here. It's at, at my parents again. This was a, I can hear the tick, the timer going. <laughs> I'm gonna. Well, start at least it. we know the timer works. Yeah. <laughs> it's off. You're okay. you're on the clock here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's <was> weird. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so my number three is a game that I don't have here. It's again at my parents' house, but this was a game I played a lot when I was uh, in growing up in high school, and it's Advanced to Boardwalk. It's obviously a spin on Monopoly, but it's a it's its own thing. You're trying to build up hotels and uh, basically get build up your net worth to to win the game. It's it's really fun. It's simple. But uh, it's a, and it still keeps that monopoly kind of real estate development theme. But it works really well, and it's it's kind of off the radar. Unfortunately, I don't think it ever got anywhere near the popularity it deserved to have. I hmm. thought it was fun. Anyway, I'm just that's my curious number three. why so many of your games are actually at your parents' house and yes. not at your house. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I just never. I don't know. I got it's, it's I'm running out. Games though, yeah, right? I'm running out of games. storage space at home for my for, for my games. So I they have haven't to, quite made the yes. cut for your collection. Exactly. Well, yeah. 
That's kind fair. of. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Okay, on to my number yes, two. Yes, on to your number two. Excellent. <clears throat> and, and I found that a lot of the games, just like this one, Rook, I, I actually had to rebuy this copy. I do have the original that we played growing up somewhere. Have you two played Rook? Uh, I think you played, uh, you taught me how to play it's years ago. Yeah, if you're into card games, it's a bidding card game. You're bidding on tricks. You bid on what you think you can uh, get, and you don't want to bid too high. It's just a lot of fun. I love Rook. Okay. Your so, two. Uh, I'm going to move along to yet a third <laughs> wordsmithing game. Jeez, you are wow. Balderdash. Yes. I am wordy. Uh, yes, yeah. so with Balderdash, oh, we were talking about... Uh, this is a well-used copy. We, oh, well, you know what, yes. that's right. A lot of, a lot. So, it's a, it's a, dif a <laughs> dictionary definition game. So, what you're doing is you're given a word and then everyone, at all the table uh, people at the table, write what their definition they think of that word might be. Uh, and, and also a uh, definition that might try to fool fellow players and then yeah. everyone uh, votes on the, the one they think is real. Right. Yeah. I, have, game. I actually have good memories of playing it's this game. It's a lot of fun. And it's a me, lot of fun. Any game where nostalgia. you have a good memory is, yes. is, is nostalgia. worth keeping and, and in the cupboard. Good, that's exactly it. Yes. Okay, my number two uh, over here. <clears throat> you knew this was on the list. Risk. Um, now, interestingly, so this game is, is, the original game is from 1959, and everyone knows Risk. It's obviously, everyone has played it. Adult version. <laughs> yeah, adult oh, version. Should, it the should be no strategic <laughs> conquest. But it's interesting, I mean, this is a really different edition. But, <laughs> yeah, uh, apparently. But the classic game of Risk, interestingly, um, the, the game of Risk, everyone thinks it's because of all the dice rolling, that it, it, it's, it's called Risk. It actually came across from uh, France, and it was the Conquête du Monde, or World Conquest. And they didn't like the word conquest, they thought, mm -hmm. especially in 1959, which is only 14 years after the end of World War II. So there's some bad memories involved in <laughs> conquest. Um, and so they they put the, the um, yeah, it's, it's still here on now. There. It's still on there, <laughs> but, but, the, but they named it Risk, not because of all the dice rolling, but, but actually one of the sales people came back with the name. It's actually based on the initials of his of his uh, children. And mm. so that's how they came up with the name or how he came up with the name. Very so cool. anyway, it's right. uh, it's Ricky, obviously a classic. Ignatius, Sam, and yes. Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee, there you go. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah. we've, we, I mean, even the legendary tactics boys have some great memories of playing Risk. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, sure do. Uh, just, uh, it's, fun. It's, a, it's a fun game. It's a long game, obviously. A but lot of dice. A lot of dice rolling, but it's a lot of fun. So. That's fantastic. And that's my number two. Yes. And you're I number thought that one. was going to be on your list. So <laughs> <laughs> he's in the middle. I'm in the middle. He's in the middle seat. <laughs> you just had such classics that I you couldn't get. <laughs> I couldn't give up my words. Get risk on there. Couldn't give my words smithing up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there was some funny business going yeah, on. There probably was. Here. Right. I'll reiterate. He's in the middle seat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Something's weird. Okay. This game, uh, and and I've put a disclaimer on the rest of these games that they're not quite up to snuff on our channel, like you know, in terms of the quality of the games. But this last game, yes. I will pit this against any game. Yeah. Memories are fantastic. I know you wanted this on your list. I did. The game is Survive. Look at this copy of it. Yes. And I actually have two so, of these old classic yeah, copies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is such a great game for kids, for adults, and you basically have a deteriorating island that uh, the blocks get taken one at a time. I mean, it looks almost Catanish. And, yeah. And uh, mm. there's, there's kind of a feeling there. Yeah. And every tile turns up some kind of secret underneath. You're trying to get your swimmers off to the corners of the island. So yeah. much fun. Get into the rowboats and, and avoid the sea monsters and the sharks and the whales. That's and all right. Sorts and if you play with these two, you have to try not to have your swimmers die because they will do everything they can to oh, eat absolutely. your swimmers. So absolutely. it's a chomp, merciless chomp. game. Yes. You, uh, I play it with my daughter and it's like, Dad, how can we help each other? And, you know, we all, yeah, like, no, no. everybody holds hands and gets <laughs> Push them off the boat together, right? and it's yeah. like we're Push all. Them off the that's not the. It's, it is a nasty game. It can it be is, a nasty it, game. There, we probably I don't know how many tears have been shed over, over survive. This, over survive over the years. If you survive the game, Good you're tears. doing well. It is a nasty game, but if you're into those kind of like <laughs> games where you're trying to get each other it is classic it is so good and even even fun as a, as adults actually it's still fun that's anyway. right so you've you've waited a long time cax we are finally down <laughs> to your number, number one well the number one actually <laughs> is is a great deal of nostalgia so uh playing uh every friday night uh with my oma 
who uh, recently passed away, and we would play Nine Mil Morris, mm. uh, and it was from a, a Nine sh- Men's Nine, Nine Men's, Men's Morris. Morris. We called it. Or she mil. called it Mill. Oh, no, right. she did. And yeah. she basically built the game herself on a little piece of cardboard, and she drew everything in herself. And we would sit and play that for three or four games a night yeah. on a Friday night. And so I have just very fond memories of that. So you yes. you can't go wrong there. Yes. <laughs> oh, Absolutely. I like the memory choice. Yes. I cannot That's laugh good. at you anymore. No, not for that <laughs> okay. one. Not for that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And mine, another beat up box here coming along <laughs> but this is my number one as uh, you might expect it had to turn up on this list somewhere now there is a lot of hatred for this game and I do understand why because most people misplay this game um, but <laughs> there it is 20 minutes if you said. play it 20. properly um, I've regularly played games that have come in in and around 45 minutes. What say. about 20, Nato? You I've, said 20. I have, I have, we got it down to a science as kids. We had three player games that would finish in about 20, 25 Oh, minutes. there it is. Wow. So, uh, but obviously it's a classic game. Uh, the most popular game of all time. You have to, you got to have it on the list. So Monopoly right. is my number one. Now you have to remember to put your favorite choice down in the comment section. Or did yes. we miss a game? Yes. Yeah, did we miss a game on that right. list? Please yeah. let us know. There's, yeah, there's another 1,785 <laughs> or so ish games. Yeah, there's quite a few. So yeah. that, that's fantastic. And uh, if you want to help support our channel, there's a few ways you can do that. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And of course, if you want to become a channel member, we would love to see more of you visiting this channel. So remember to get out there. Get gaming. And be legendary.